Oh, first things first, John Cena is coming back to WWE. He will be partnering with Kevin Owens to take on Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn on the last episode of SmackDown on December 30th. Now, it has been rumored and reported that upon his return announcement of his next WWE match, SmackDown has sold an additional 4,000 tickets. So, number one, I have two questions for you. How excited are you to see John Cena return to WWE programming? And the fact that he's moving tickets, what does it say about John Cena? I love John Cena. What? I grew up being such a Cena fan. It's not even funny. Like, I don't care how old I get. I'm a die being a Cena fan. Am I shocked that he's moving seats and he's moving numbers? Hell yeah, it's fucking John Cena. He's like one of the GOATs, right? Like, he has to be top three GOATs of mm-hmm. all time, bro. Like, come on. Like, are you shocked? There's no reason to be shocked. Like, and whatever he's going to do is going to be money. You said it's going to be with uh, Sami Zayn? I yeah, it's, it's uh, John Cena and Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. Even better. Even better. Everyone that knows how to talk and have a good time. This is going to be great. It's going to be comical. It's going to be so comical. And that's what we need. We need something lighthearted but fun, but something that's going to, like, move the seats and move the numbers. I'm with it. I'm with it. How do you feel about it? <laughs> I, f- I feel super great on multiple levels. So, number one, the fact that John Cena has a return match and it's being integrated into the hottest storyline in WWE right now and possibly all of the wrestling industry with Roman Reigns and the bloodline uh, as, and Sami Zayn as well. Seeing that Cena is being integrated into a storyline and it seeing that this makes sense, it leaves me more excited because it's not just a return. It's a return with purpose. I'm not surprised that that man is moving tickets because John Cena, along with Hulk, ugh, I don't want to say his name. <laughs> I won't. I won't. Along with Terry and <laughs> and The Rock and Stone Cold, I believe that John Cena is the biggest modern day draw in WWE, point blank period, and it's not even close. And seeing him come back, doing it really because that man is passionate. I mean, like, this man is in movies, he's in TV, he's in commercials, he's everywhere, but he still wants to come to WWE and and do what's necessary. He's always received positive reviews from his colleagues, from his from his co-workers. And as far as how excited I am, let me tell you something. 2005, me and my god brother Brad, we went down to SummerSlam in DC. This was the same Matt, this was the same SummerSlam where Eddie faced Ray for the custody of Dominic. You saw that? Yeah, in person. Oh my god, I'm jealous of you. Me what? And Brad, Brad and I and my parents went down there and we saw it in person. We were in the nosebleeds, but but it it was amazing. But I was in there with the full John. I had the C Nation chain. I had the, so the John Cena life. C Nation chain <laughs> with the fair. spinner that was supposed to be what? like a G My unit chain. would never get me that. I, I, I got that. And so I've been a John Cena fan. And like, gr- granted, I haven't agreed with the character decisions that he's made or like the decisions pertaining to his character. Because sometimes oh, okay. it's out of his control, I should say. But like this man is a goaded talker, one of the most polarizing performers in the history of WWE. And whether you like him or you don't like him, you got to respect him. He's John Cena, bro. Like this man is, 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 is an absolute goat, absolute legend. And I am very, very proud to see that he's going to be back in WWE, even if it's just for the last episode of, of SmackDown. Um, hopefully this can begin a build towards WrestleMania 39. Who knows? Somehow, some way, who knows? But definitely want to know how everybody else feels about John Cena returning to SmackDown. Let us know how you feel in the comments. I'm going to cry. But we're going to move on. So, 